All right, chapter 1099 of One Piece is out. It's titled Pacifista. And next week or the week after, we're going to be getting chapter 1100. So time is flying. There's actually a lot of content to cover in this chapter. Usually how I break down my chapter reviews, I usually summarize the chapter first and then I go into the review portion. But I've seen a couple of comments. People have told me there's no point of summarizing the chapter when most people have already seen the chapter. Might as well just go into the review portion and make the review portion longer. So I do want to take some feedback and try something new. So we're going to be trying that today. I'm not going to summarize the chapter. I'm going to talk about certain points and I'm going to give you my thoughts on those certain points of the chapter. Overall, the chapter was great. I think from start to finish, this was a solid chapter. I said this before, Kuma's flashback genuinely is a tearjerker and this chapter as well also is quite bittersweet. Throughout the chapter, we see Kuma traveling the world in order to find a cure for Bonnie. We actually get to see the places he travels to and the theory was correct. Kuma traveled to all the places where he sent the straw hats. And someone did make a theory saying that maybe these are places that Kuma himself has been to. And this chapter officially confirms that theory. We also get to see Bonnie get her devil fruit and it doesn't really state where she got it from. I was trying to see whether I had missed her eating this devil fruit. I went back to the last chapter. I could could not find nothing. So if there is a scene of her eating the devil fruit, someone please let me know where it is because I, I genuinely couldn't find it. Anyways, my theory also came true. I did make a theory saying that, you know, maybe Kuma went to Vegapunk in order to cure Bonnie's disease and that's why he's a pacifista now. And that's exactly what ended up happening. So I give myself a pat on the back, even though it was an easy prediction. It's interesting to see the relationship between Vegapunk and Kuma in this chapter. There's a quote I really like from Kuma where he says, I wouldn't care if you were the devil himself, just please help her. And then Vegapunk replies, you really are a saint. Then Kuma says, saint, I'm, I'm just a humble pacifista. And Vegapunk laughs and he's like, I like that name. Let's call the future warriors that. There's an interesting scene that I kind of wanted to point out where Kuma is with Dragon and Dragon is talking about Ivankov and Inazuma being uh, captured and imprisoned in Impel Down. And while he's saying this, he's laughing, which is very interesting. I don't know if this was purposeful. I, I don't think so. Or maybe he's just very confident in Ivankov and in Inazuma's abilities. So that's why he's not too worried. We also see Bonnie training in this chapter and she's getting stronger as Kuma has, you know, ventured out to find a cure for her disease. And overall, as I said in the beginning, this chapter was very enjoyable. It was wholesome. It was, you know, it, it's kind of like the bittersweet ending, right? Uh, the beginning of this flashback has kind of been depressing. There were some scenes that were truly so dark. Some of the darkest scenes in One Piece. It's a little bit more lighthearted in this chapter, but it seems like it's going to be a bittersweet ending. Of course, we know what happens. We know the outcome. We even get to see Bonnie meet Sentomaru, and this isn't my favorite chapter from the flashback, but it's a solid chapter. I would I'd give it a 7, 8 out of 10. I am excited for the next chapter though, right? We're at chapter 1100, and you know Ichiro Oda. Every time there's a monumental chapter number, he does like to go big for it, so I'm definitely excited. Anyways, I do want your feedback. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Should I keep the summary cut out, or or should I include the summary always? For those that don't know what I'm talking about, usually in my reviews, as I said, I just kind of go over the chapter briefly and that takes up kind of a major part of my video. But now that I cut it out, I could just talk about my thoughts on the chapter specifically. Let me know. But listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you follow, subscribe, I about all things anime manga related. Anyways, peace out everyone. Have a good day. Bye bye.